today is uh, December 5th, 2011, and uh, really quickly what I wanted to do is give an update on the two trades that I had outlined earlier, the two butterflies on Johnson & Johnson and McDonald's. So let's go ahead and get into that and uh, see how those trades are doing. So here on the screen we have the chart for Johnson & Johnson. Um, this line right here is... Uh, where Johnson Johnson is trading right now, $63.36. As you can see from our black line, that is where we are today. And if you look at the live pricing, uh, today, up to today, we are up uh, $309.44. Now, I don't remember exactly how much the trade costs, so we can go ahead and um, let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the, the prices and see. Uh, if I move this down a little bit, I think you can see now um, these these two here are the uh, butterflies that we had put on. Originally, we had put this one on. Um, I believe uh, I believe we had put the 65 on, and then we had uh, put the 62 and a half on later on since Johnson Johnson had gone down. So this was the debit. So we have uh, 297 plus a debit of 256 equals 553 and we did three of these so our total margin in the trade was 1659 um, 1659 and if we wanted to get a 15% uh, return we would be looking at $248 um, so right now we have $309 so 309 divided by uh, 1658 I think it was equals 18.6% uh, return is what we have right now um, so we're doing fine yeah this is actually right in the middle of our trade so we're just gonna let this sit for the next few days there are only about uh, 11 days to expiration, so we're just going to let it sit. How many days? Yep, 11 days to expiration, so we'll let it sit. Uh, we might take it off um, maybe a week before expiration. Or I mean, if it goes up a little bit more, maybe around $350, $400, I might just take it off, uh, take my money and go home. Okay, uh, so this one is working out nicely. Again, uh, we put one butterfly on, and then we had to put on another one, and uh, it's sitting there right in the middle. So now let's look at uh, McDonald's, which is not doing so well. Uh, okay, McDonald's. All right, so here is uh, what McDonald's is. This is where we are right now. Uh, this is the trade uh, where we're sitting right now. This is the at the money, and... Um, we're actually down $130.41. So what did we do on this trade? Okay, move this down here. So originally what we had done is put on a 95 uh, butterfly, and that's exactly what we have on right now, 195 butterfly. But then uh, McDonald's rode down a little bit, and so then we added the this butterfly, the 90 butterfly. And then today, actually, uh, McDonald's has gone back up, and so I took off the 90 butterfly. So as of today, this is what um, this is what the chart looked like. And when I did this in the morning, McDonald's was up actually out of outside of my break even. It was over here somewhere. Uh, it closed the day inside the break even. Thanks, you know, thanks McDonald's. But um, when I did this, it was uh, outside of the break even. Now, uh, so what I did was I went ahead and take this butterfly off. And so now this is uh, the trade that we are looking at. This is what I have on right now. I'm down $130. Um, let me figure out what my margin was. 225 plus 191. 416, and we did two of these. So my margin is uh, $832. So Let's see, 130 divided by 832. Right now I'm down about 15%. Uh, so I had the option today of just getting out of the trade, or what I can do is just let it sit, and if it hits again, if it hits my break even, then I'm going to bail. But I did notice that uh, the VIX has continued to stay even or go down. Um, and so 
I'm probably going to just stay in the trade. Hopefully this uh, this black line will move up, so I'll lose less money. Hopefully you can get positive and then just get out. If I'm down 20%, I'm getting out of this trade. I don't want to, uh, if I can make 20% on one of these trades in a month, I don't want to lose more than 20% um, in any month. And so that's, that's my break even there. So all I'm going to do is just sit and wait if I have to add another butterfly, I don't think I will because, uh, you know, it's just, there aren't too much time left. So I think I'm done with the adjustments. The only thing I'm going to do here is if it gets to a break even, um, I'm just getting out. So hopefully it'll give me a few days. Uh, let me see here. If it, you know, uh, if I, you know, uh, let's see right around, around there, that's break even. The 13th. So, yeah, I need about a week of McDonald's not moving to break even if there's no volatility change. Well, I might get that, I might not, but um, in any event, um, actually, today's the, the 5th, but this is giving me uh, based on tomorrow because the market is closed right now. So, that's why it's showing the 6th. Uh, but anyway, that's where we are here. We're down 130 on one trade, we're up three something on the other trade. Um, both of these trades are fine, not much. Uh, if I had not done the adjustment today, I would still be fine. I'd still be in the range. If it goes down um, right here, I'll be sitting pretty. Uh, but as it is down, it can move down a little bit, but not too much um, for me to stay in the trade. So there we go. Um, and, and, and take a look at this. Yeah, so if we hadn't done this, if we had not added the 90... Uh, original now the second adjustment if we not adjusted this trade uh, right now we'd be up 137 dollars i'm looking to actually 137 dollars on <laughs> about uh 450 dollars so that would have been pretty nice um you know very simple but uh, mcdonald's did move down and so we did have to add the second and um we did then take off the second so yeah you go back and forth a little bit uh, sometimes you get lucky sometimes you do the wrong move and uh, it turns bounces against you so this is where we are right now uh and that's um that's all i have for this video if you have any questions please give me a call or actually uh send us an email and uh we'll happy training to you